Max fetches. And Tuco does not. She is the boss of the apartment and it's adorable to watch her be in charge of this giant cat. She's so tiny. It's kind of like the classic gangster uh, where the, you know, the mob boss is this tiny little guy and then his big toad is next to him. Max is a gentle giant and Tuco is the, she's the mob boss. <laughs> she's the mob boss that's hiding under my bed right now. But she is the boss. <laughs> I have two cats, and the first one I got when he was a kitten. A friend of mine's cat had had kittens. I had never seen kittens, and their power is too strong. And my second cat, uh, my friend was driving home from work in rush hour, and was stopped in a freeway on-ramp, and heard this meowing sound looked over onto the off-ramp uh, on the shoulder and saw this tiny little creature moving around and pulled off onto the shoulder, got out. It was a kitten, maybe five weeks old, filthy, uh, covered in soot up from the road. And he had to sort of chase her down. She was crying, but then she would kind of run away and then she would cry some more and stop and kind of pant, you know, and he finally caught her and put her in his truck and drove her here, uh, knowing that I am an animal Love her. I wasn't looking for a second cat, but the minute I saw her, I said, I, I now have two cats. My cats are my babies. I mean, they're my precious, precious pets. I think I would run into traffic to save them. They're little people to me. They have their own little personalities. They have their own little agendas. They're constantly problem solving and figuring things out. I, uh, I actually went through a really painful breakup uh, about a year ago and um, it was the kind of situation where, although all my friends were around to comfort me, uh, I was just really down. And it's amazing how even though they weren't able to wash any of the dishes or clean the bathroom, having my cats uh, who just would come and lay on me and purr uh, was so healing and it was really comforting to have them here. It's a magical thing to have pets who love you and are happy to see you. And every day they manage to, it pulls me out if I'm in a bad, you know, if I'm stressed or I'm angry or I'm frustrated. It's an immediate reality check of, oh, it's okay. Everything's okay. They're okay. They napped all day. They're happy. Everything's good. And uh, I love that. I need it. When I first got Tuco and she was tiny, I would leave the, you know, French doors open and there's a big screen, obviously, so they wouldn't run outside. Um, I'm on the ground floor. But I noticed there would be times when I couldn't find her and she was so little, I thought, oh, maybe she's, she's under something or she's hiding behind something because kittens can get into whatever. And by whatever, everything. Um, and then I discovered that she was actually at the top of the screen door, like she had climbed, the windows were floor to ceiling, and uh, she had climbed the screen all the way to the top and was clinging to the top like this little, like a little bug just stuck up there. It was really funny to watch when I finally caught her doing it. She just sort of clawed her way up to the top of the screen. Max, of course, too heavy couldn't pull that off, so we just had to watch from below. There are definitely people who are not fans of cats. 
Uh, I think there are also, it's funny, there are cat people that don't like dogs and there are dog people that don't like cats. I actually don't believe that that is a real thing. I, I know that people think that it is a thing. People who say they don't like cats really believe they don't like cats, but I, I think they're wrong. Um, because I think that just like there are people that you meet and they may be perfectly nice, you never see them again, you don't think about it, you don't worry about it. And there are people that you meet and you go, oh my gosh, we have this connection. I need you in my life, you're my new best friend. And, and you know, this relationship develops and you can't imagine your life without them. And animals are the same way. So people who don't like dogs, people who don't like cats, they just, they haven't met the best friend version yet. They've just met the ones that were forgettable, but there is a cat or a dog out there that will melt your heart. Every day I go to work, I live in a stressful city and traffic is difficult and my job is stressful. And when I come home, I walk in and they run to the front door with their little tails straight up in the air and they're always happy to see me. I think of them as the welcoming committee. They're every day, it's like, hey, you're home. This is so great. They don't know that I just sat in traffic on the freeway. They don't know that I had a really bad day at work or world stress or personal stress. They're just happy to see me every day. And to have two little animals run to the front door and greet you when you come home is, there's nothing like it.